Hello, in this video I'll show you how to implement Archer module into Dynamic Combat System. I will work on fresh versions uh, on Unreal 4.21 and I will keep these projects in single folder but it is not required, they can be in separate folders as well. Okay, so firstly we need to migrate a few files. So on the right side we have Archer project, on the left side it's uh, main project. Let's go to Q folders and select those three files, migrate them, and as desired location select content folder of DCS project. Okay, now let's do the same for particles. So let's select our trail and explosion and migrate them into dynamic combat system project and the last files to migrate are meshes so let's select elephant bow arrow explosive arrow and quiver and now we need to copy some files because if you would like to migrate them we would get prompt to migrate all the referenced files as well and we don't want that so that's why we want to show our projects in Explorer and we'll be copying files one by one so firstly we can open animations folder and we will copy all uh, animations uh, related to Archer system so let's select Elven Bow and Archer folders paste it in this year's project and now let's select animation blueprints and blend spaces okay now we can go to blueprints items and we'll copy some displayed items blueprints so first let's select displayed item bow and paste it then let's go to instances folder and select Kiver and Alvin Bow. After that we can go to object items and from there let's copy range weapon. And from instances we need to copy three files. Okay. Now we can copy animation notifies so let's go to this folder uh, let's select update hand arrow and update giver okay after we have anime anim notifies we can copy montages related to archery so let's go to folder montages and first you will copy uh, AI archer montages and then we can copy montages used by player okay then let's go to data tables folder and select those two files and finally we can copy Archer AI so let's go to blueprints AI and let's copy whole Archer folder Okay, now let's open folder behavior tree nodes and from here we need three files we can shoot update a archer AI behavior and bow attack okay now we need to make a few changes in code so first let's open our library and in function play hit sound uh, when type is bow we want to play hit arrow sound okay now let's open animation blueprint of combat character uh, which is animation blueprint of player okay and from here we want to copy whole section uh, named bow and paste it in this yes project And now let's use that cache pose uh, whenever type is range. Okay, now let's.
let's open um, arrow item blueprint and as displayed item let's select displayed item underscore keeper okay now let's open combat character blueprint uh, and let's search get montages function here and whenever type uh, of combat is arranged we want to use uh, data table of archer okay let's open this blueprint as well in archer project and from event graph let's copy archery events and we need to paste it in here and after we paste it we need to refresh all nodes Okay, now it should compile without any errors. Uh, let's type drawing sound in find results. And we need to copy a few nodes from three places. So, first one is whenever movement mode change. So let's find it in this year's project. it changes when movement mode is set to walking okay next place is on state changed so let's find it okay and as equal it should be idle so it's fine and the last place is toggle combat events so let's just copy it and find it in this year's project okay and the last thing in code is to open equipment component so let's open folder components and file equipment component and here under uh, category stored items we need to add new value range weapon and now system already should work but we want also want to visualize those changes so we need to modify a few widgets uh, first let's open widget blueprint equipment let's send for horizontal box responsible for displaying range weapons and arrows let's select both of them and change visibility to self hit test invisible now let's open widget blueprint inventory and let's select archer and arrows icons and do the same so change visibility to self hit te test invisible now let's open active equipment slots widget uh, let's duplicate man weapon male weapon slot okay and set those and position those widgets here okay let's also duplicate this smaller uh, icon okay and now change here uh, slot type to range weapon and change background texture to range weapon as well and this one will be responsible to show arrows so change slot type to arrows and texture okay now we can finally test if everything works so let's drag and drop archer AI into the scene and rotating towards player uh, let's add items to uh, pickup actor we could also do it through equipment and inventory components in place blueprint but let's do it here okay uh, let's also change its amount and hit play okay and now we interact with this pickup actor we can see that items are there so let's uh, pick them up and equip 
okay so let's save game and then if we will reload it uh, we can see that bow is already equipped okay so shooting works let's try with uh, normal arrows yeah it works as well so basically that's all we successfully merged uh, those systems and thanks for watching